And we are back. And it crashed. Oh god. It returned and then... Bomb. I will still be streaming, Binary. But have a good one. Oh my god. I was so certain. It was like... It didn't crash. And then I returned to stream and then... It suddenly crashed. So, that was weird. I thought I had it fixed, but no. No worries. I'll lay down the path again and start work on that again. I don't know, I don't think this game likes to be streamed. I think. Or something. Um. Let's see. More seats. As we said, people would want to sit after such a ride in the uh, wooden coaster that we're going to build it. Um, right, oh wait. We need some place at the back as well to obviously let the track run back to its station. So, it's something like this. I think it will pick up a lot of speed. Maybe. Hopefully, it will drop. So, you can do some uh, nice stuff with that. that speed. Whoops, wrong there. Slow it down a bit. Maybe that helps with the uh, intensity rating. I hope so. Alright, some flying carpets. Some air time. I love air time in my coasters. So. That's what we want. Do this without a lift chain, otherwise we're not too out. Oh, we need some money. Luckily, I have enough bonus on this level to afford that. Once again, quite a compact track, I think. Hmm. For some reason, I always built my tracks really compact. Oh well. Maybe I secretly like compact coasters, but um, I don't know. Right, let's first save so we have a, at least have the base track uh, saved up. And 
then we can start fiddling with corners again, most probably. This episode really should be named the uh, Astral's Fiddling with Corners. Because there's going to be problems there, I guarantee it. Around there somewhere, there's going to be problems around corners or whatever. Alright, 77. Oh, the water flows in down there. Oh, that's not going to make it. No. Ah, just no. How unfortunate. a lot of speed wheels whilst the... Uh, oh, oops. Going down the hill. Maybe that's good because uh, I think binary or maze mouse. Someone said that uh, high constant speed always also creates high g lateral g's, which uh, seems to be the problem of today's coaster designing. So maybe a slow down helix is uh, is not as bad as it might seem. It may take the edge up, so people will actually do the coaster. You know, it comes in angling and a slow 8 kilometers per hour. If you didn't notice, I did set everything to kilometers and meters because I'm not an American, <laughs> so I can't read the other system. Alright, let's see how it does in the second part of the track. Oh, I think it does fine. Let's see what the results are. Nothing in red, please. Nope, nothing in red. Alright. It passed phase one, which is good. Oh, look at that. I didn't plan it out like that, but the road just did. Um Alright. Make a oops. Can go that way then. the most out of the line I can have I think. Alright. Oh, people are going in. That's good I'm going to save. Because people are going in. This is good. This is good. A balloon, a yellow balloon is going in. I think this is going well. I think this one's going well. I think I'm getting the hang of it again. Goes through design, you know, how it works and stuff. I used to be really good at it, I know. Uh, for sure, and that's not a brag or anything, but I... When I was, like, young and I played this game for the first time, I always designed coasters that people love, for some reason. It's not meant as a brag, it's just, you know what I saw and I was like pretty good at, at coaster designing but for some reason that sort of faded away but maybe I'm slightly catching up again in the entire coaster designing process look at that an entire cart of people oh, wait it's not an entire cart like almost an entire 
join the new Ruby Cup. <laughs> the screaming at the water. Oh, uh, the waves must be higher in real life, obviously. So, I guess that would be cool to scream at water. The water stuff. Lund seems to be too upset with the helix going really slow at the start, so that's good. <laughs> Look at that, just going, oh no, the coaster is going to fall. Over. I actually went in one of those coasters that was like that in re real life. That thing was just so immensely slow. It, was, it wasn't even a ch children's coaster. It was labeled as an adult coaster, and it, you just went like, "Oh no, the corner is going slow." And then there was like the ground was like really close by, so you could actually like touch the ground with your hand and not get any like burns on your fingers because you know if you touch it at high speed it goes like that. But if you could just touch it and nothing would happen. It's like, oh my god, that was a really weird, weird experience. Alright, let's make a side path. Um, I hope it makes it. Yes. It's straight at a bench below. There you go, an ingenious design. Side pathing so people don't have to walk all the way like that. I don't know if the AI will use it now, but we'll see. Alright, we've got two good coasters. Oh, look at that. And um, a good go kart track. This is shaping up to be. Uh, be quite the park. Let's go for something more uh, more relaxed, shall we? Let's go for. Ooh, dot games are fun as well. Uh, dot games. Like I said, I'm not English. Uh, I'm not natively English, so I have absolutely no idea. Or English is not my native tongue. I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce some of the stuff. There we go. I move the one that looks so weird. If you ever get to a ride that has one and it's the, the number one. I don't want to do it manually. It's weird to have the more purple, but I don't want to do it manually. Right, excellent. Oh, not everyone wants. Uh, not everyone wants to go into the garden. Or the dog gems. That sounds weird, dog gems. Alright, my next big project is going to be to recreate the track. Or try to recreate the track that I once made. Or at least take the concept of that track. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of work because the concept was... Two tracks in one. Like, you know, two tracks constantly. Over. It's going to be one hell of a big project. So I'm just going to take a big space, like somewhere like here. 
which isn't too far up. I'll just take a really big space. Oh. Yeah, that's what I hate about this mode. Road building, but we need it because we need to cross the card, go card track. Go. Cross the go kart track. Right. Oh man, this is going to take ages to build this one. All right. I think we're building a big walkway here, so one station could be like this. Can be like this and then the other walkway like so so the other station can be like that and then we'll build two monstrous coasters and try to intertwine them I'm going to save regularly in between especially because the game tends to crash on me today so of course we'll be taking coasters that can do a lot of stuff like loopings and stuff, it's really cool. Might be... Yeah, something like this. Or a flying coaster, maybe. I don't know. Ooh, a multi-dimensional coaster is fun as well. Yeah, let's, let's do multi-dimensional coaster. This is the next one I run a ride in my life. That one. I'm going to save up money to go to the Six Flags where X is. Because I really want to ride that one. That's going to be amazing. Alright, so somewhere at the... Oh. Somewhere at the end of this line. There we go. Oh man. This is going to be a monstrosity. I need a chain lift immediately at the start, of course. I think it's going to take me quite some time to build this one and quite some money. So let's borrow some more. There we go, that should suffice for at least a bit. Ooh, an inline twist. Ooh, nice. Ooh, plus 90, whoa. Plus 45. Oh, you can't turn corners whilst going down all right this may not may not have been the best choice to uh, make a coaster like that um, for such a gigantic pro project as this one but uh, what can you do we'll see if it works Right, we need lots of sloping hills because remember we have to build a second track as well, which will intertwine with it. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, bother with the seed rolling that much. You know what? I may need to take a different track. The seed rolling thing isn't really flexible. 
Um, I may need to go on a different coaster. It doesn't have two flexible uh, track pieces. Um, let's see, which one does? Corkscrew coaster, that's just a basic one. That should have enough track pieces to uh, satisfy my need for diversity. Alright. Let's see, so lots of sloping track pieces means lots of diving hills um, into a corkscrew, why not? We need to make it a bit of excitement. All right, so, you know, there's space for this to be the second track. Uh, going to make a bit straight. And then we're going to do this. So the second track can be over here. Maybe make a climbing section here. We send dives under the track here again. Um, yeah, that that gives us space over here to uh, construct the second coaster. Give it some space to maneuver. I think that's good. Although this track shouldn't intertwine with itself too much. think all right I'm saving during construction as well because this construction is going to take ages um, yeah so the track shouldn't intertwine with itself too much Let's see other helixes and stuff right but we need to get back to the other side um, So that's right. So we're, we're leaving big spaces here and here for the track to to interact with each other. For the tracks to interact with each other. Maybe you know, put a big one here, do something here, and then looping here, going through this, something like that. Some sort, some form of interaction like that. Um, let's see. What do we want? It's the other tracks going that direction, but that's this direction. So we're going to. Uh, To see if with a second hill, some sort of second life basically. Um, of course there's going to be, we are going to need brakes. Uh, or, uh, not brakes, um, lift hills. So this is so, sort of like the second hill. Um, and we're going to build some more track here. Which will then nicely, if we build a station here, I have a track that goes like this, do something here, while well, this track does something here. Then it has a middle piece here where it gathers speed or something. So it can dive down here, loop here, 
Preferably I would have something like a loop or a barrel roll um, somewhere here. And then dive under this, go up, but still dive under this, dive over this one, go like this, dive under, over, and then yeah. I, I think you get the drill. Trying to uh, make the coasters interact with each other as much as possible. Wait, maybe uh, a slow hill is better. So it has some space to uh, interact. Slow hill into a helix. Oh, something is broken down. Luckily, we do have a mechanic uh, on the scene. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um. Yeah, something like this. And then we need some, oh, oops. We need some interactions here, which maybe consist of flying carpets. Yeah, something like this. So the coaster can go under here as well. I'm trying to uh, create a coaster that has as much space as possible for any um, further interactions with the coaster that will be here. That will be on this spot. Right. I don't know if it has enough speed for a loop, but that would be cool. We'll see. Um, right, I know where to go. It has to interact with itself one time to uh, get back to the station. But we'll try to uh, keep those interactions to a minimum. Wait, what? Oh. Let's uh, S bend it, so yeah. It gets at least past itself. And this seems like a boring straight line, but we need it if we want um, the other coaster to have space to interact. With this coaster, every everything is uh, intended for an interaction with the other one, basically. That's the aim of this coaster. I mean, to be cool as well, obviously, but I'm trying to mix two coasters together. So you'll need wide open spaces for interaction. Let's see if it's not too intense and stuff. And then we'll move on to the next one. I don't want to fiddle with corners yet. Uh, until uh, the entire construction work is done. I think that's, that's better. So it does have some low speed stuff, which is good for the uh, lateral G's. Um. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be. I'm pretty sure this, this coaster should be fine. I don't think anyone, anything will be in the world. I saved before the test, so that's that's good. 
Alright, it does, did make the coaster looping, but... Alright. Alright, it makes everything. Ah, that, that was a bit tricky, though. With that kind of speed. Alright, let's see. Oh! Max lateral G's is in the red. Oh, crap. Where does it have a lot of lateral G's? Forty seconds in. All right, let's see if we can fix it. I know I said I wouldn't until the until the other one is um, completed, but ultra extreme. Oh god! Oh yeah, we should fix that first. Right, it's over there. That's where they spike. It's there. Oh, it's that corner, that kind of corner again. Oh, this is where they spike as well. Again! A corner that goes up and straight is spiking the lateral G's, it seems. Other than that, it seems fine. Alright. A corner that goes up and straight seems to spike the lateral G's. Now, I'm not a scientist or anything. Wait, I can't... I can't... Bank him? Oh man. Really? I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how that works, but... Crap, and it should pass. Um... How do we fix this? Oh! By not fixing it. Oh my god. Once again, it crashes. Sorry guys, sorry. This game. Alright. I'm still thinking in the back of my head. Come on guys. I know you crashed. Just let me restart you. Yes. I'm still thinking in the back of my head, how do I fix this? How do I fix that? That corner thing. If I can't bank the corner. Hmm. I can't bank the corner. Wait, I can bank the corner if it's straight. So if I just make this a little wider, or less wide, less wide, that's what I mean. Right. So I can bank the corner like this. No wait, it needs more speed. Like this. I can bank the corner and then I can do a down and deleting these for a sec. Then I can do the corkscrew. No, not the S band, the corkscrew. There we go. And then I can bank this and bank it again. There we go. That should reduce the lateral G's. Gives us a little bit, bit less space to fiddle around with the, with the other coaster, but you know, 
Should still be fine. Should still be fine. Right. Let's see. It when it came in on 3.12, I believe. I believe the previous measure was 3.12 G's. Max level. Mm. So we should see less now, hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, this was the other corner. I forgot. This was the other one. Because that's a straight corner as well. Which is the only corner it allows up for some reason. The banked corner is... Hmm. Interesting conundrum this. As I said, I'm not a roller coaster engineer, so I can't. I can't predict its outcome. Of the uh, changes that I make. Oh, that looping is just so, so close. But that's cool, if we make another looping here, that would be really cool. Alright, so let's see. Is it still in the red? Yes, but it's 288. Which is way less than before. So it does help. Um, making corners that are not... So I'm, I'm fine with widening this one. Um, to make it even less... Oh wait, I don't know if he makes that. Oh, I do hope so. Corners downwards are never a problem. For some reason. Whoops. Wait, am I still one square off that? Interesting. Alright, maybe we need to widen this one as well. Um, let's see. Let's see if this works. Just a bit of a snake move here. Um, and I don't mean snake from Metal Gear Solid. Ha! <laughs> Zing! Um, yeah, something like this and then it hooks in like that. Crap, that does give us less space to work with. Um, I don't want that. I'll just hook in like this. It looks really boring. Um, but as I said, the uh, thing with this coaster is that I want the second coaster hooked in. So I want open spaces where I can, you know, put track here and there. So that's, that is going to be uh, cool. Right, save first. Uh, because of that crash. Right, I hope he makes it like this. It doesn't produce as much lateral... Jeez. As it would normally do. Hopefully. Again, moves a bit slow. 
but should be fine yes okay it makes it that's good that's good good news the journey continues It will hopefully reduce the amount of lateral G's though. I, I do hope so. Oops. Zoomed out there for a sec. Sorry. Um, once again, it just grace, slowly graces the loop. And it slowly returns back to stage. For those of you who are wondering why I'm not making uh, stuff like this more uh, interesting with loops and stuff, that's because I'm going to build a second coaster uh, and I want some playroom for that to have the track intertwine and weave in and stuff. Alright! We've got them in the black. No more reds. Yes, that's good. Alright, so track one is done. And. Alright. I'm going to start track 2. I know it's actually time for a break, but I just want to start track 2 for a sec here. Um, track 2. It's going to be a stand-up one. That's going to be cool. No stand-ups in the list that I've been in in my life. But that's because stand-up coasters are usually only present in America. I think there's only one in Europe, uh, as far as I'm aware. And I am European, so how unfortunate. Well, I mean, we do have really good parks here as well. But it's just the coasters, man. The coasters in America. Hey, hey, puke, man. Hey, Green Ank, how are you doing today, sir? I am uh, not puking. It's not me that is dry that is riding the coasters, so you know I'm not puking. Right, what kind of special stuff does this have? Ooh, loops, yeah, it has loops, that's good. And corkscrews. Right, you dive in on the track. And you kinda stop, dive in again. Oh god, hopefully he makes it. No! Crap! Oh, just one close. One, one. Can you... Is it possible to... Do this? Maybe? Yeah, hopefully. You just kicked the cleaning lady. Oh, I, ho I hope you were more friendly to her than just kicking her out, Green Hunk. That's not nice, kicking people out. Especially not the ones doing all the work. Hashtag respect for the cleaning ladies. Oh, wrong side. Want to make the same corner as, as its brother? Um, we... Uh, at my work, or at least the one that uh, uh, I basically have a contract with, um, the workplace I basically have a contract with, um, they uh, have a really nice cleaning lady. I always uh, talk to her in the mornings and stuff. She's really kind, uh, really fun to talk to as well. Um, so yeah, you know, respect for the cleaning ladies. The work has to be done, you know. Oh man, this is such a tight corner. All the corners to cut. Sorry, I'm just Focusing a bit. We'll see if it works after the break. We'll see if the track works after the break. Oh yeah. I'm seeing what I'm going to do.
I think we'll need a lift hill from here on out. It's probably going to uh, be way too scary for people. Oh crap. Oh wait, it's corner down. Corners down are never, never a problem. Wait, what if I... What if I go corner down into helix down? Crap. Once again, out of funds. My coaster... Coaster addiction is costing the park a lot of funds. All the coaster building. But you know, that's, that's true with real life as well. Coasters are really expensive stuff. And not even just coasters, other attractions as well. The uh, park that I went to um, for the holidays is going to put up a new attraction which costs 20 million euros, which is insanely expensive. Well, I don't, I don't know what the reference, I don't have a reference point, but 20 million, man. That's just a lot of euros, that's all I'm saying. 20 million. All right, and then we bang into this little era here. Where we can do some stuff as well. Oh wait, we need one more, two more. Yes, this is good. I hope we build enough speed. Or we have enough speed for uh, for a corkscrew. Not an S band. A corkscrew. Uh, no, not at all green. Well, define near. It's quite a ways away, though, uh, for me. So I don't know if you can define near. What's near for you? But I think it's quite a ways away from where I live. Look at that. Mimicking each other. Maybe I'll call these two coasters the mimics. That would be cool. Well, uh, I don't know where you live, but maybe, yeah. I mean, I do live in the Netherlands. And you know, it is a theme park from the Netherlands, so, um, yeah. If that's, if that's your definition of near, then yes. I do live near the park. But it doesn't have any spectacular coasters if that's what you're it has fun coasters don't get me wrong the python and the uh the vogel rock are really excellent i mean or birds rock uh if that's for the, for those of you who are english um the uh the coaster i'm referring to is called birds rock and um it was my first coaster of my life the first coaster I ever re had ridden in my life and what set me on the path of uh, wanting to go to America for uh, the amazing ones uh, later on in my life so you know it does have a oh and Joris of course Joris and the dragon that's and the flying Dutchman it's but I don't know if I could consider the, the Flying Dutchman a coaster. Um, it's more of a more of a spectacle ride than an actual coaster, I think. The Flying Dutchman. Right, let's see if it works. I really want to see if it works. I know it's time for a break. It's been a few minutes past my break time, but whatever. I want to see if this works. Yes, I do agree, Dank. I live in Brabant. I live in the place that has its own folk song made by a singer. Which is actually quite a good song. Oh. I, 
think. Right, that's that's going well. I think this project succeeded uh, pretty well. It's basically a smaller version of um, what I did back in the day. Like when I was playing this really a lot, I was really meticulous. I recreated this scenario where I just had a lot of plot space and a lot of money. And I just really was meticulously working. Uh, um, I really was meticulously working on this kind of thing with two coasters mashed together but I worked like three days on it and I had this really big and elaborate coaster it was really cool all right so far so good yeah I'm, I'm talking about the one from uh, Russia Maze Mouse you know the one that got crowned as the official Folk song for uh, oh well. Ooh, three point zero eight. Just closely in the red. Closely in the red. Oh man. The forty-five second mark. That's that's the high one. 45 second mark. That's the high one. So we'll have to uh, have to retest it and then see the 45 second mark. Oh man, just close. You know. Just close. Oh, it already passed for the first second. It's crap. It's somewhere around this place. Maybe this one. I don't know. Maybe this corner here. I think so. It's always the straight corners. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. To see if it um, draws customers. Whoops. Oh wait, I still need to pump. It has a village called there's a village in Zeeland called Greenank. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there goes the balloon. Look at that. Ah, poor kid. There you go. Goes the balloon. All right, some benches and stuff. Maybe a toilet would be wise. I don't know. Maybe. I think so. Oh god, we don't have a medical aid station. People are going to die. And also a cash machine. Our people are broke. And we don't want... <laughs> that would be kind of stupid. Uh. We don't want pe people broke, but we certainly don't want people dead. 
That would be that would be stupid. Oh, it already wants in. Wow. All right. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back from this small break, I will open both coasters and we will see whether or not I have made the right decision, made the right coasters. And then we'll name them. And if everything goes well, we should have, you know, this should be working. Have a corkscrew on the same place. Loops on the same place, not a helix, but whatever. Helix is opposite to each other. I think it looks cool. What do you guys think? Work of art, yes? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I I'm polite to the people on my stream, Green Ankh. I'm polite. You know, politeness. Um, all right. I'll be, be I'll be back after I've gone to the restroom. So get up, take a drink, go to the restroom whenever you need to, and we'll see each other here in about three to four minutes. See you guys in a sec. And of course, as always, the breaks will be uh, accompanied by the music of Miracle of Sound. Amazing artist, go check him out on YouTube. So see you guys in a sec. 